Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Chained Echoes, where we are in an escape sequence, trying to get out of Marlia, the church's flying city that's under attack from Torwin. Uh, Terran. Whatever it's called. King Frederick. <laughs> that's the only summary I'm gonna give right now. The monsters are out of control! We need to help them! There's no time! Sirig's right. Sirigal's right. We can't abandon them. You're all fighting for your ideals. Oh, I'm just trotting along after Lem. I have nothing but hate and anger inside me. I don't want to be like this. Go without us. Sirigal and I will take care of these people. Alright, let's all help to get it done quickly. Okay. Um, yes, let's. <laughs> Three monsters. Oh no, and they're untamed. Which means they're gonna hit super duper hard. Um, okay. In that case, I think I know how I'm gonna play this. Starts with ultra, ends with move. Oh, I can't use my ultra move yet, it hasn't recharged. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, um, let's hope I can last a round of combat. And remind me, are these guys, they're weak to dark, yeah. Okay, so we just have to survive a round of attacks. Oh, they're only hitting her in the 60s. I guess they haven't had a chance to say, like, untamed, getting more powerful or whatever it is. Um, in case we need it, I think I'll do a healing him. But I think if, um, Glenn does an ultra move, which I think is recharged now, then we'll be in decent shape. Um, do I need it? Actually, I'm kind of winning this battle. Maybe I should save my ultra move in case there's an actual boss battle coming up. Because Sienna is pumping out DPS. Like her life depends on it. Which is good, because her life probably depends on it. And let's see. Let's go ahead and get another one down. Alright, four versus one. Even if you hit really hard, I feel pretty good about my odds. Especially when I've already got bleed going. Um, sure, just use an attack. And Sienna can attack. There we go. We did it. We saved the people. And we got an angel wing. Very nice. Um, do I get to talk to you as a result of saving you? Thanks for saving us. It's just what I wanted to hear. Also, I can't help but wonder. We're obviously in a big hurry, so let's backtrack. It's a merchant. <laughs> Why did I follow you? Get out of here. I'll sell you stuff. Uh, still selling all the same stuff. So it's like, once again, in case you're really running low on sweets and meals and whatnot, I'm here to replenish you. But I'm doing okay. Oh no, four of them? Oh gosh. Um, Victor gets to go first, so let's... Ooh. This time I might need the uh, ultra move. I could actually... Let's swap out for Rob. And see if we can Toxic followed by Pandemic. I think that might be the most DPS that I can pump out. And... Is there anything that'll really help? Honestly, Arms Break actually is probably the best thing. Just to make sure one of them is going to do less damage. Because you're going to deal a lot of damage. So I feel like that's a good choice. Okay. Can we survive this round of combat? If they spread the damage, I feel very confident. And so far they're spreading the damage. Just don't hit Sienna again. And now I can Pandemic. Nice. So I've got dot damage on all of them. And even crit one of them, apparently. Uh, 
Okay. Um, arms break does feel good, but there's a chance that a cross slash coupled with toxic might finish this guy off, and it's more important to get a single enemy off the battlefield. Sienna somehow is still alive and gets one more shot. Uh, do I want her to get one more shot, or do I want Amalia to be out for healing? I'm going to have Sienna deal the damage. Nice. One's down, another got a crit. And Sienna caused them to waste a turn, taking her out. Can still deal a lot of damage with Petraz. And now Rob... Um... I guess Power Shot. We need to make sure we get another one of these guys off the battlefield. Great. And we're overheating. And I don't have a good way... I can do a Freak Wave. Um, yeah, it would be good to not be overheating. So let's swap out and have you do this. And that'll cool us down. It'll cool them down, too, with some nice water. And power shot again. All right, Rob. You're doing work. Congratulations. That guy will be poisoned or toxic to death, I think. And it's not going to matter because we got a dark side, and so that'll kill him. And... Um, let's swap back to Glenn, because Glenn has the biggest chance of taking this guy out and ending the battle right here and now. Yeah. Okay. That actually turned out great. And a cutscene. Thank you. Oh, they were hiding in the rubble. Now back to the hangar. We'll find our way out of here. We're forever grateful. There's Ava. What's with all these monsters? On the Pope's command, we had to bring them here. From where? From Shambhala. Uh-oh. So Frederick is attacking here. There's a bunch of ether here by virtue of the monsters. And Killian brought Frederick the Grimoire. I have a bad feeling. The only good news is it would only blow up a city in the sky that's probably getting evacuated, and so it's mostly monsters, and so it wouldn't necessarily blow up anything on the surface. If that's even what happens, I'm speculating a lot here. Was this what you were talking about, Sienna? All right, I could be completely wrong. Like, uh, Betraz, why are you still standing there? I can't interact with you. Also, where's the hangar? These were just more townsfolk that we were saving. So the hangar is actually back over in six, I guess? Probably? Yes, there's my goal. First is probably a treasure chest to the left. Are we gonna have to fight Ava? We're gonna have to fight Ava since we just saw her right here. All right, there's another treasure chest over there that I would like to grab. Here's all the caged monsters. And here's a beast master without a beast and some priests. Uh, in that case, I think I feel good enough that I don't need the healing. So let's have Rob come out with a Toxic Shot on the Beast Tamer, just to make sure he doesn't, like, summon a guy or something. And... yeah, Yokogiri is fine. Alright, I got interrupted by a phone call there. But it looks like we're early in this battle. And trying to take out a Beast Tamer. And otherwise deal all the damage. And Rob already toxicked him. He's going to do some healing, but that's okay. And he'll live through this, so Rob will be able to Pandemic. Alright, Pandemic this guy. We'll get some more damage over time on the battlefield. Oh, 
Oh, neat. The vines that trapped Glenn count as an enemy that Sienna was able to hit. I did not realize that before. All right, so I guess she'll do it again. That's why she stands way back here. So she managed to kill the vines. I didn't realize that was a thing before. I kind of skirted over that. Okay, in any case, won the battle. So that is good. And uh, according to the map, there's a way to go down here. And there's a doorway to the left, but we're not going there yet because we know there's a treasure chest right here with a something that Victor wants. He currently has an Epe, and we're going to upgrade it to a uh, Marda. I don't know. I've mispronounced so many words in this Let's Play. Okay, I guess we do want to go down this way in order to find scared kids. The adults are praying to be rescued. They're doing nothing. This ship doesn't have a captain. I see, so it's like an escape lifeboat kind of thing. Um... There's an anvil here. I actually do want to use that. Thank you, anvil, for your presence. I recently got some things. Um, I could upgrade your bow. Sure, why not? And I could upgrade your, I'm not even gonna bother. To, oh no, I can't, I don't have enough mithril war. I could upgrade your musket. Let's check out other things first. I'd prefer to upgrade this, because that'll actually be using. The musket doesn't get much use. Your gun spear, I think, also is kind of outdated. Um, and I don't even know who would use that. The mushroom, probably not. All right, so do I want to upgrade your muskets? I mean, I guess, why not? Have some things. And I don't think I got any armors recently, so I'm not going to bother looking through those. Okay, so the anvil appears to be my mechanical motivation for finding that room. Other than the lore of the people who don't have a captain to save them. And I'm guessing there's going to be one more battle. Actually, yeah, I'm guessing hard enough that there's going to be one more battle. But let's go ahead and drop a save. Well, there's a battle, and this one is not easy. It's not the worst battle. All right, good damage output. Glenn, why don't you arms break the beast? Actually, I need to go after the beast tamers, because they're the healers. So let's make sure we get a beast tamer down ASAP. And Sienna's taking a bunch of damage, so I might need to do something about that. Um, Victor... I guess could do a healing him. She's also going to run out of TP, though. So I think I'm actually going to do the Valor Minuet and hope that she lasts another round of combat and then we can swap out with Amalia. Oh, she's pretty low. <laughs> um... Let's do swap out for Amalia for a bit. And do you want to heal Victor? I could also uh, do this to cool down. And I think that means the dog will be on offense rather than defense or something. And this would cool down too. I'm trying to get this beast tamer down. There's some summoning vines. There's the heal that I was worried about. So that's healing for like 800 right now. Okay, so Glenn definitely got to try to take down the Beast Tamer. Victor, I think it's time for you to swap for Rob. And Rob, I think right now we just got to get this Beast Tamer off the battlefield, so let's power shot. 
Okay, one is down. That untamed this guy. That's unfortunate. Uh, but now we know. So in that case... There isn't much for you to do, so we're going to swap back to Sienna. Who does have a few more TP now. And we're going to deal the damage. That'll also help try to free Batraz. It did it. Great. Okay, and then I get to do it again. All right, even if Sienna goes down, she'll have done more than her fair share of the work. Grows stronger without its tamer. Fortunately, you hit Glenn. Glenn's a tank. And he can counterattack. There goes Sienna. Absorbing some damage from me. Okay, so I think I can just take this out if everybody attacks. And getting the beast off the battlefield is the most important thing to do now. And Betraz will definitely be able to finish it off because it's weak to dark. This will also cool me down. And now we have taken control. Oh, it didn't kill him. It did not kill him. Oh, no. And just like that, Betraz is off the battlefield. Yuck. Okay, now we got a problem. Um, if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. I have to take off the Tame Beast. There's just no two ways about it. With him on the battlefield, I'm already dead. Now with these guys... Oh, thank you, counterattack. Oh, that made such a difference. How much life do you have? Not all that much. And you don't hit that hard, so the two of us ought to be able to take you out before you can take us out. Great. Okay. <laughs> that one was close. I played it risky. Uh, it happened to work out. Um, it was close enough that I'm going to drop another save. I didn't use my ultra move, so if we do get a boss-boss battle, I will be ready for it. And... Nothing there. So if there's going to be a boss with, like, Ava, it's going to happen right here, I expect. Oh, Raphael. Once a young man fell into a deep emotional hole and was on the verge of giving up God's greatest gift. Um, when the godlike uh, enemy, like, starts lecturing you before things, you know it's going to be bad. Raphael. But then Father Hyob appeared. He showed the young man the way of God and gave him a reason for his existence. Wherever Father went, he did good. The young man was always by his side. He had cranky sides, true, but his heart was pure. He eventually became elected Pope. The young man became an inquisitor. This far and no further, murderers of his excellency. Okay, so he's just telling his quick summary of life story that he's all for the Pope and Petraz killed him and so he's going to end us. Okay. Moralia is lost. The Pope made joint cause with a demon. Silence, traitor. Oh, Ava, is he? Oh no, am I going to have to fight both of them? <sighs> the only demon here is right in front of me. Ava, didn't you destroy enough back then? You betrayed the church and abandoned your wife. <laughs> you were married? You wouldn't come with me, Ava, when I discovered those monster facilities back then. I'm sure the Pope had his reasons. They were just the tip of the iceberg. When the veil was lifted, I saw the true side of the church. Misappropriation of funds, handling of heretics, abuse of power. Church is not perfect. I know that too. If you'd stayed, we could have changed it together from the inside, but instead, you ran away from the problems and left me all alone. Sounds a little bit like the story that Frederick said to Len earlier in the in the whole game. Alright. Enough the world to fall into chaos without the church's help, you're to blame. Guess we're fighting. Guess we're fighting. Okay. Healing him. That should help me stay alive. Um, let's start with this buff. Everybody gets extra crit. And let's start with an ultra move. I've been saving it for a while. This seems like a great time to go ahead and pull the trigger. 
All right, they are debuffed. Ava prepares an attack. I'm sure you do, Ava, but are you ready for Yokogiri? I didn't get any crits. That's a bummer. Uh, are you guys weak to dark? No, you're weak to wind. You're weak to wind. Len is not here. She's the one who had, like, wind for everything. Um, Betraz could sacrifice himself. After three turns. I need to deal some damage first so I can get a good summoned attack off. Do I have enough uh, TP to do all of that? Um, I will if we get into overdrive. So let's just deal some damage. All right, show me your crits. There's the crits. Haha. Petal storm is active. Don't care. Okay, Victor, you did that. Uh, we might need TP, and this will keep us cooled down. So sure, keep on buffing us. It's only two enemies, so I don't think the uh, toxic and damage over time stuff is necessarily super great. And Glenn, I don't know which of these two is more important to take down. Um, let's go after Ava. Was it you, Princess Celestia, who leaked Merlia's Merlia's position to King Edric? Frederick? Um, I don't understand. I felt like, no, I've severed all ties to my brother. Wait, is Len with me? I forgot about that. She's not currently equipped to my party, but I'd forgotten that she'd rejoined. She's the one with wind. I might need to change my formation if I lose this. You're related by blood. Only death can cut these ties. Raging boar. All right. I see. You deal a lot of damage. Good for you. Um, I think Victor's going to sub out for Rob, and Rob does have a heal all. And let's imagine you're going to live long enough that this will matter. So, heaven or hell. Um, you're about to run out of... You'll survive for another round, though. You're about to run out of TP. But let's go ahead and deal the damage that we can. Then... Gwen is going to continue to focus on Ava? Question mark? Yeah. All right, we're overheating, uh, but a swap out will help and a heal all will help. Um, only two people need it, and one of them is about to be subbed out. So actually, I don't need the heal, honestly, right now. But I do need the cooldown. So let's do a heal on Victor in case he ends up back in the battlefield a little bit later. And then you are going to swap out for Roberto. And he is going to power shot Ava, I guess. All right, Petraz has two turns until death. And so light actually deals more. So I should be using light since they're not weak to either of them. That summons another weapon. This will cool us down. We're not getting many crits, considering I did the crit up buff. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. What are you going to do? Um, because this will cool us down, I'm going to use the toxic shot. I don't know that the damage over time is going to really make a huge difference in this one. And at this point, you could afford to multi-shot. So let's just do that. For a little bit of extra damage. And... Let's just deal as much damage as we can. I feel like Ava's getting close to going down. Alright, Petraz has one turn until death, so it's time for him to use his summon attack. Which dealt 1,500 apiece. Rest, Ava. I will avenge his excellency. Alright, I was right that Ava was almost down. And then this will cool us down, so we'll definitely Toxic Shot. Do a little bit of damage over time. 
And it doesn't matter if you hit Petraz, because he's about to go. So I need to substitute out Petraz if I can, which I'm not sure that I'll be able to do. Um, do I want to heal Rob? I think probably yes. So let's do that. And then Glenn is just going to start wailing on Raphael. Rob has already done a Toxic Shot. Uh, we have a cooldown problem. If I swap to you, yeah, to Victor. Victor could cool us down. And he can hit you with Wind, which is the thing you're weak to. Oh, you're weak to Water. Oh, he can hit you with Water. I didn't realize that they had different weaknesses. I should have paid more attention. All right. Oh, and that won. That was actually a much easier battle than I thought. You've achieved your goal, Sienna. Congratulations. The church you hated so much is destroyed. Your wishes of old have been fulfilled. I never wished for any of this. You gave me no choice. We should keep moving. Go, Sienna. At least try to save yourself. I failed in my task as Inquisitor. All right. So, kind of like a surprise twist in terms of her relationship with Ava, but uh, didn't really play into the story really at all. At this rate, oh, will fall. It could explode or fall and like crash into stuff on the ground, I suppose. They didn't see the attack coming at all. At least we escaped. Formation of sky armors over there is protecting the armored one in the ranks. It's the same as the battle as Scania. Do you think they're carrying the Grand Grimoire? Oh yeah, I sure do. I'm getting closer. Gwen's talking to Killian. You know what you gotta do. Yup. We are grateful, no doubt, but your wishes are enormous. Nevertheless, I see a way to be able to fulfill them. What do I need to do? My generals will have to channel their magic and be unable to wield the Grand Grimoire. Gawain will not even be allowed to touch the stone. So we need someone who can smash it in the ranks of our enemy. I don't know anyone to entrust our most valuable weapon to, except the person who possesses possessed the grimoire and could have escaped with it, and yet brought it to me instead. You're the only person I can trust with the stone. Okay, so this is just a flashback, and I mean, this is exactly kind of what I expected was going to happen in terms of the story. So, if you succeed, we'll give you everything you want. All right, so Killian will be a super powerful general. And then be able to cleanse the world. The fate of all these people is now in my hands. I'll create a new world. I know that after this, there's no turning back. The blood of thousands will be on my hands. They'll become a part of me. Is Killian just like imagining what Glenn would be saying in this conversation? Because I don't think they're able to communicate here. But Killian's reluctant to pull the trigger. But now he's imagining what his sister would think, and all of a sudden it's playing out just like Glenn. Before he gets a chance to trigger things, he gets shot down. The grimoire is sinking to the bottom of the sea. Might be the best place for it. Can we stop the vein without it? Look! King Frederick was able to defeat Moralia without the stone. Everything is burning. Why are you doing this, Frederick? Killian was a disappointment, but we won the battle. Hopefully Gawain can recover the stone. 
We got a message from Tormund. It's terrible. Speak? After our fleet left, there was a coup. See, Frederick, that's what you get when you make everyone miserable. Rebels stormed the castle from all over Volandis. Under the leadership of a general named Farron. Oh, okay. So it looks like Gawain did recover the grimoire. Who do you plan to return it to? King Frederick or his sister? If I read fate correctly, I should hand it to King Frederick next. The stone needs more power to kill the vein. And yeah, so he wants to kill the vein, so he needs to power up the stone, and so he's willing to, you know, put the stone in anyone's hands that is most likely to actually use it, I guess. What do you plan for him? His organs... Oh, we're speaking of Killian now. His organs are punctured. He's going to die. No healing magic can save him. I have a way to help him. He has potential. If Glenn fails... He'll be his replacement. You don't think Glenn's going to make it? We'll see soon enough. The finale is near. Endart is an heir, I believe, like Victor and somebody else. Marcus, right? Our goals may be different, but Gawain and I, we share the same interest in killing the vein. He'll find the grimoire, open the door, and with the help of the Holy Mother, kill the vein. So then it's only a matter of time until our Lord awakens. The vein will die, the three protectors in Celestia have already disappeared, and Gawain doesn't have, any lo doesn't have long to live. All the obstacles are disappearing, one after another. Our plan will come to fruition, do not worry. That's a story for another time. I feel like at the end of this, I'm not sure if I'll have the energy to just kind of like piece together what everyone wanted from the beginning and if there was more optimal ways that they could have acted. But I guess based on the information they had, I don't know. Some of these people have a lot of information, these godlike folks. And so I feel like they could have made different choices at the beginning that well, probably would have obviated the whole story, so... And I, I shouldn't go there right now. Len, are you all right? My world's completely been turned upside down. My brother's a monster. I'm on a mission to eradicate evil from the world. I remember everything now, but do I understand it? Memories from the past are flooding in on me. I hardly have time to process them. Amalia was right. That's why you reacted the way you did when I told you I was Timothy. I understand. Don't start that again. It's too much. I'm sorry, I just thought I could bring you some comfort. Because you think you're Timothy? Think about it. Are those really your memories? What you see in your echo? I saw both of us. I saw you get stabbed. I saw him carry you to the priest. Him? I can sense it, Glenn. He's not you. Interesting. And Glenn... When Gwen opened the door to stop time, Glenn was able to see fragments of everyone's past. So Glenn is not actually Timothy, even though he fell for the same trap that I did, apparently. Why did I see him? Why indeed? And because of this, we built sanctuaries all over the world. We sent the echoes of our maiden through the maelstrom. He's still talking. Okay, this is like the third or fourth time we've seen this scene. Is Glenn Van? That doesn't seem likely. All right. So same scenes playing out.
Like we've seen this scene before a couple of times. The two lovers, Van busts in. And then he's going to try to attack Timothy. Len's going to push him out of the way. She's going to get stabbed. Like, I appreciate the repetition of seeing fragments of the past and then each time more and more of it unfolds. But it's a little bit slow in execution. Like, this is like a three minute cutscene, and we've already seen all of this. And it doesn't seem to be any different. The music here is good. It fits the scene. They want to stay together forever. How? How dare they insult me even further? All right, this is bringing in the priest and saying, you've got to send the maiden back into the maelstrom or new body or whatever it is that he does. She's dying. We need the song of the Manaflora. Send her echo into the maelstrom. She's too important. You've got to save her. Except we're in love, and so you're going to have to send me too. And I'm going to stab myself, and she's going to refuse to go unless you take me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after all of this happens, we'll see a little bit more. Like we saw a little bit more with Van in the previous cutscene. I'll search for you. And so now is Van gonna come in? Stop this at once. So Van uh, knocks Timothy out of the way. And he got set back? Len is meant for me. And so Timothy dies, Van gets sent back, and Glenn is Van? Well, that's rotten. No, no, no. I'm not Timothy. Glenn, you need to calm down. I killed Len. All right. And yeah, the memories can be overwhelming. I got an achievement. Bad memories. While King Frederick was fighting the battle against the church, resistance groups throughout Philandus took their chance. Led by the Crimson Wings and Farron, the palaces in Farnsport and Tormund were seized. Weakened by the battle, Frederick saw no possibility of recapture. His troops retreated to the Raminas Tower, an ancient fortress in the heart of Cortara. That's the northwest screen of the Cortara Mountains that I could never get to, I think. Or northeast? I forget. While the rebels hoped for negotiations, the king surprised them with a terrible ultimatum. Withdraw from torment, or he'd be forced to use the Grand Grimoire within his own walls. Happened to go that he would go down in the annals of history as Frederick the Merciless. 
All right. The bluff will only stir up more hostility. I see he's bluffing. You speak of a bluff? My own generals doubt my decisions. What am I to make of this, Gawain? Please reconsider. It's a rebel's turn to reconsider their position. Walls can be rebuilt, but human lives do not return. We could take back Tormund without the grimoire. Our enemies are peasants. They can't handle our swords. What do I have to do to make you stop doubting my competence? If you destroy Tormund, you'll be assured of the people's hatred. The rebels should surrender then. All right, so... Frederick's own generals are starting to turn against him, it feels like. Do I see a smile, your highness? You'll understand soon, Gwen. All of this will end. Oh boy. All right. Doctor can't help Glenn. His mind is closed off. He probably won't wake up. I wonder if that healer lady who could heal people's minds, whose name escapes me, is possibly going to be able to rescue Glenn somehow. So I guess Victor and Betraz knew who Glenn was. And... Hmm. This has happened once before. Some years ago, we met another maiden of the Order. Her echo had not yet awakened. When we revealed too much information from her past, her mind broke. She fell into a coma and never woke up. It's my fault. Why was I so heartless? Pointing fingers won't help now. She's here, Sir Victor. Aha! It's just who I was saying. Magnolia is her name. What have they done to you? She can enter a person's psyche. Do you want me to take you into Glenn's mind? Is there a chance of helping him? I need someone to show me the door so I can open it. Glenn can't do this in his condition. There has to be someone else who can, right? Wayne, maybe? What am I sensing? You! Me? What do you have in your bag? It's a flower from Raina's grave. The key. Wah! Wow, Wah! Wow. That's a you there's a human soul inside this flower. You're joking. I never joke about my profession. Are you saying this eternity lily, which has been in the grave for centuries, holds a human soul? Poor thing. She's just a shadow of her former self. Can't think right. Can't speak right. Who did such a thing to her? Poor Lady Reyna. I see. It's not Lady Reyna's grave. It's Lady Reyna's soul. Defying the Lord of the Underworld, the gate shall open. What do you mean by that? Is that what she's saying? Over and over again. The flower is a key. Then this could be the magical key phrase to get the vein? I'll put you out of your misery soon, but first we must make use of your gate. We can enter Glenn's mind? Yes, but it'll be dangerous. I'll stay behind. I'll need to keep the door open so your ether's not cut off from your bodies. Everybody, line up. <laughs> or not. Here we go. <laughs> all right. We're all going into Glenn's mind to rescue him. Because why? Like, what is our plan at this point? I guess Victor and Betraz possibly still know more about why Glenn is important in the grand scheme of things for everything. Because it seems like Victor called Magnolia. Okay. 
We have to find his id. Of course we do. Uh, formation. I'm going to remember to do the thing. I'll try setting things up like this. And we're at a new part. So let's save there. Glenn's Mind is the name of where we are. It's probably going to be a whole thing. How did a merchant get in here? Magnolia sent me. Just pay me with your imaginary arcs. Alright, you're just going to have like the same stuff. Um, do I have enough sweets? Yeah, I'm fine. And I don't need to use an anvil because I haven't picked up any new stuff since then. So, what do we find in Glenn's mind? A purple rectangle. A gate. We must find Glenn's lost memories. Something's coming. Ah, it's the children that he made up. After he first blew up the world. Or... After he second blew up the world? I can't remember. We're the victims of his crimes. We're his sins. You should hate him the most. He separated you from your beloved. He killed you. That was an accident. If I hadn't intervened, I'm sure Timothy could have disarmed him. As if that makes anything better. A murderer is a murderer. Glenn caused nothing but trouble in his previous life. The spoiled son of a lord, born with a silver spoon in his mouth. And in this life, he didn't get any better. He was the grim ward and killed hundreds, no, thousands of people. And he did it twice, twice! He couldn't help it. Enough. How dare you say things about my Glen? The radiant diva of the Equilibrium orders you to leave. Good job, Magnolia. Way to talk him out of existence. They're a projection of Glen's fears. We need to do something quickly. If only Glenn would remember everything. Yes, Victor, what is it that we don't know yet? Follow the gate, follow his memories, make him remember them. All right. Let's do the thing. Gate. Show me something gate-worthy. Uh, there is a map in here. Interesting. Oh, boy. All right, so we got Vertical Beach. It's going to be one of these puzzles. And it looks like it's going to be big. What is over here? Nothing. So let's insert the beach. And now we're here, and there's giant flying eyeballs. Let's see what they think of Yoko Giri. Um, ooh, they're non-trivial. So let's plan a pandemic. Uh, what are they weak to? They're weak to light. Um, let's just hit all of them then. With some fire. And you obviously can deal some light. So let's do that. And are you stealable? You are not. So let's deal as much damage as we can and then hope that they don't hit Rob. Thank you. And then I get another Yokogiri. And now you can Pandemic. This is the guy with the Toxic. So now the battle is won. Uh, because I don't even think they could kill me before they all die of poison. Or Toxic, whatever it is. It's possible that they still have some other attacks that I'm not aware of. Although... Blinding flashing eyes, like, that's not a big deal. Okay, so this actually is not a difficult battle. Great. That's what I like to hear. Five SP gained. Okay, so... I'm not sure what this one is called yet, and we don't need to pick it up yet. 
Or maybe we do. <laughs> All right, sweet time too. That's good, actually. Can I go through the door here? No. So let's pick this up. Oops. Come on. Buttons. The button to advance the text so you don't have to watch it go letter by letter is the same button as pick the next selection. That's a uh, menu foible of like everything, every game in the world. Um, that's another game design sin. Never make it that when the player is trying to quickly advance through the text that it causes them to immediately select the wrong menu selection and then have to start over. And that will make them more impatient, which will make them quickly advance the text. And then, yeah, you get the idea. Bug fables with its cooking system comes to mind. Okay, so let's take that with us. So we've made progress over here and we have two fragments with us. And so from here, it appears I need the vertical one. So let's try beach. I was wrong. It's getting placed to the left. So this does not really give a clue to that. So I also don't like the position of these yellow orbs, really, in terms of suggesting what's happening. I definitely want to take this with me because this is like the only way to make progress. So, so far, this is kind of, those are nose. Ah, we saw eyes and now we see nose, of course. It's the face of reality, or something. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's getting late. <laughs> um, are you guys weak to anything? You're weak to light as well. Um, yeah, so let's just deal damage. And then hope you don't have a giant sneeze attack. Snoring. Oh, it put us to sleep. That's not super great. Gonna play on the same strategy, but if we fall asleep, that's gonna potentially cause some problems. Not a whole lot of sleeping going on. Sienna's taking a little nap, but I mean, she deserves it. She's been carrying the party for a while, so. I guess she can go. Lights out for a little bit. Hey, she woke up. All right, pandemic on this guy. And if Batraz survives, then the battle is won. And, oh, Batraz got put to sleep, but so, oh, but he woke up early. Okay, so I think basically the battle is won. Because now I get lots of turns and I can deal lots of damage and these guys are not all that strong. Um, you don't have another Yokogiri in you, so I guess just spend an X-Slash to take someone who is not quite dead yet. They're not even getting better. And then I think they'll all just uh, Toxic or Bleed to death, so I could just not take any moves here. Yeah, exactly. Great. Okay, so based on this map, it looks like there's nothing up here, but there might be a treasure chest. There's not. Okay, so this is extremely linear thus far. Uh, here's a new segment. This is like boat or something, and I get to take it with me. All right, so I've got three fragments, and now I need to go use a different one. And so I guess I need to use dungeons so that I can move upwards. Nope, dungeon doesn't work. Remove the fragment. Uh, beach? Beach is not gonna work either. Uh, so I'm already confused. So obviously I have to put ship back. And... Like, I didn't miss a place to, like, jump off the south of here or something, right? No? And I've got, like, this map. But I couldn't have grabbed ship... Oh, I could grab ship from this side. Okay, so I need to take ship back to one of the previous places. And so it might work here. Uh, it does not. And so we have to put dungeon here. And then I can grab it from this side. And then could I put ship here? I cannot. 
so where else could I have placed ship back at the beginning? I don't think it goes here. Yeah. So yeah, there's not a lot of choices. This is... And the menuing for doing this is annoying. Like, this is... This is not a very good mechanic, and it's also not very well executed. Um, could I view ship here? Hold on. No. So I'm going all the way back to the beginning? Ugh. I guess over here? Uh, ship doesn't work here either. Did I ever come back here with the uh, dungeon? Uh, maybe across the way using beach, I can get to where I could play ship. I think that's just about the only option left. So can I place ship here? Oops, I placed dungeon. Oh, dungeon actually works here. So I don't think ship would work there then. No, but this just got me to the chest. So if I tried ship here... It does not work. Okay, so I'm not sure what I missed, but I missed something. I don't enjoy this mechanic. Um, I'm just gonna skip to the end of this on my own. There's no reason for you to watch me do this. It's boring, it's stupid. Um, so I will see you in the next episode at the end of this, and we'll actually continue on into Glenn's mind. I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Chained Echoes. For now, bye-bye.